Ya fire 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 Ya fire fire Oh it's on the day Pendeco Yes on the day Pendeco Fire fall on me Hallelujah Dokwa semo sema de kwanano mustare shitens Jesu Christu Amen Wangano arukufara utitawaya shikari mbama mwari Hallelujah Timbo pae chipo cheko mbira kuna ishi Tunake imbati chifuru wane mnyengetero Ndo famba, ndo famba, ndo famba Hili ndo shua, ndo shua kudenga Kusina, lena mo Isina, lena mo Yeli ndo famba Ndofamba Ili ndoshua Kudenga Aywa kunyika Ya tenzi O isina Nenamo Yeme famba Vatendi Aywa kunyika Kureo Aywa iloda Vasimbi Aywa kushika Onyika Yewo ufumi Aywa kunyika Ivo avacha Zoche mi Havana Rusuo Ivo vachene Vareo Ivo vafara Ivo vayona Yonye nye Aywa mufiri O wavose Yeme majaya Musache Yeme kufamba Murwendo Yeme runoda Vasimbi Aywa kushika Ayo nyeka Yeme mandara Musache Musache kufamba Hiro runoda Vasimbi O kushika Ayonika Yeme madzmai Musachke Musachke kufamba Murwendo Hiro runoda Vasimbi Haywa kushika Ayo nyika Yeme ma brada Musache Yeme kufamba Murwendo Hiro runoda Vasimbi Haywa kushika Ayo nyika O yewe na yewe na o 
yewe na yewe na o yewe na yewe na o yewe na o satani o yewe na yewe na o yewe na Yei we na o yei we na yei we na o yei we na o satani amachitike chitike amachitike chitike Ama chitike chitike ama chitike icho satani ama chitike chitike ama chitike chitike ama chitike Chitike ama chitike icho satani yewo upumi uriyo iko hakuna murombo iko hakuna ne umwe o ne umwe Iko hakuna ivo vachene ivo vafara ivo vaiona yonyenye aiwa mufiri iwa vose Yeme vachene, vachene musachke, sachke kufamba Murwendo irorunoda Vasimbi haiwa kushika, ayonyika o yewe na Yei we na yo yei we na yei we na o yei we na yei we na yei we na satani haleluya tipe chipo cha kuombera kuna ishe Do songana seina Jesu ndi chando mbuweke atindaka tenda ndakamu Batira zu vari mendo inindo songa nando songa na se tose chuchira mako na je sundi chando muri. Mambuza Desi Sinamu Mewo Kaku Doye Saku Andicha Shia Andicha Chachiru Fuanguza Darwin Rwawona Vandonya Razwa Donya Nyarazwa Nisina 
Jam dingam vikim inindo songana do songana sei inindi chando muvi kire imambuza disi. Sandi sinamu mewoka kundui saku aywa dai makure dai maku makure o kuchinya dam yam zore. In and I upon him, I upon him, Sunti chando muvi kire imambuza di zandi sinamu mewoka kundoi sa so mutendi so. Mute ama usazesa mukachi bati iwe shinga irira shi gairi ivo ivo va rashiki ruisa ku. Vato ili do songa na do songa do songa na se ili di chando muvi kire imambuza di zandi sinamu. Mewoka kundoi saku aywa so mutendi so mute iwe usase zamu kachi bati. Ama shi gairi ra shi gairi ivo va ra shi kirwi sakum va tu amando songa na do songa na. Chando muvi gire imambuza zandi sina mewoka ku taka fara me se duto se one of our icons ilindo songa na songa. Na se na je sundi chando muvi kire imambuza nisi sinamu meo kaku doi sa. Namati, Muponeswe do Tenzi Jesu Christum.
Tuna kutenda manero ano maro masimba hose. Ne mukana amatipa. Ishe wangu kuhuya pano kuzo kushumira hai. Tine mufaro johova. Tino ziziva kuta kuna ingu njimbo ya kafanira. Ingati nakiza kunze kuku ya pano. Ishe makati denga na njika zisha pera. Asisho kundole cha garana kusinga pera. Dora taungani na pano mponesi wangu. Shiba tayi kuimbiso kwenzi yo johova. Zatiri kuimbira imi. Buruka iti kuhuni ipaka tipe ni mponesi wangu. Ishe wangu pakukunga na kwa taita. Vamwe wane mvunzo Vamwe wane uruwara wane pozi kwa nemi Muponesu wangu tunosiziva Kutimpa muno buruka mburu kiri pasina Chiba tayo kunyangyo kuimbiso kwenzi yojo hova Timbe kubapa kazika pemoe wedu Mwiaonyo mburu kia shakapana Mwaroma simbosu kunyangyo kupati kwa kwe shoko Tunokisa mkatumo wa kenyu Bata mpari zitinu kutawara kwenyu Pakopera kwe sosotiru mbizi zitarenyu Muzitara tinzi Yesu Kristu Amen Amen Hallelujah. Tipeche poche kumbira kuna ishe. Wangana wa rukufara, madikuwa nani? Kwa sama kana anjwa ziriparu tuyutu. Mwari wakurupa fadze ya ama. Mwari wakurupa fadze ya anjwa zi. Hallelujah. Ufunza kutimuru kufara ere hama. Kuso yembira ishe. Amen. Gati shandi seinyasha. Gati shandi seinyasha tu sepa mechete isuti iteshi tenderano. Na Christu shewe Na Christu na Christu shewe Aywa ne rosimba ne rosimbara Keche sunga teshe pire Oto vimbi sato vimbi sato Iyeshi nuku Vawa Kesu Kuwa maki ku Vawa Kesu Aywa tigare tichi te Gare Tichi Cha ishe mu Pewe Chiti Okana marika Na mwari Muchifatwa Sangana Yene Usangana Yusangana Yene Aywa chitende Rano Chitende Rano Chana Singa Chika Rene Oti sasi eti Sasi ye Mwari wedu Kana ye Zwera Kana ye Zweka Zwe Aywaro pare Chiro pare Chite Dera Nure Nuvi Sashi Hariko ma a Riko ma Zita edu Kum soru Kude Kum soru Kum soru Parechi tenderano Iroro parechi Iro parechi Tenderano Sashi Hariko ma a Riko ma Zita edu Kum soru Kude Kum soru Kum soru Kude Oh hallelujah 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 Oh hallelujah 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 Halleluj
Aleluya, 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 Amen, Aleluya. Tuna kimba gati mkuza imari. Gatimu kutei mari Aywane moyo inofara Tititza ke tititza ke iwuru Aywa itoti noi Tirwai Yesu Anura ira Anura Ira Zua Irori Fene Kere Nika Aywa ito Tititza Ke Iwuru Aywa ito Tino i tirwaye Yesu zinu so se zinu so so se si penyu aywa zinopo neswana ye aywa ito tititza. Zake uru aywa ito tino i tirwa e Yesu kanati ri kanati ripa namo Yesu tino che get kwa Yesu. Tititza ke tititza ke iuru aito tino i tirwa e gati mukute gati mu mukute mari aywa ne moyo. Ino fara aywa ito tititza ke iuru aito tino i tirwa i isu aleluya tipe chipe choko mbira kuna ishe osa nawe Kudenga Dovimba Nizwi Aywa kumana Wadavita Kuma Kumana Wadavita Wawu Ya kwa Wosana ndi ya mure Wosana ndi ya mu Pakure ma paku Ure ma pangu Wau ya wau Uya wa sada Danwa mupo Onesi Ndoshonga Zakadini Zakadi Zakadini Azo Ondesha Omu Gaziri Iwe Ziri Re I Iwe moyo uyo wako Ndo upira kwa muri Pira kwa mu 
Bamurimono Nore Wangu Aiwa upu Upu Kwa Uchu Kwa Dise Ininda sunungur Wanemi Rwane Aywa mudo Urungu Aywa rikadi muru Wanemi Rikadi muru Wane Nemi Iro Iro joti Harakanti Rasikisa Dira siki inindasi andasi ya upe wakandi farisa zwe risa zwe paku uchema. Dasu nungur wanemi Rwane Nemi mudo Urungu Aywarikadi muru wanemi Rwane Nemi iro Iro choti Aywara kandira sikisa Dira si Dasi ya Si ya upenyu Wakandifa waka Difa risa Zwe paku uchema Aleluya, Amen Amen Amen, Aleluya Aleluya, Amen Amen, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, amen, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Tonga i wo tonga i she tonga i tonga i wo tonga i she tonga i she tonga i mumo yo mangu i she tonga i mumo tonga i wo tonga i wo tonga i she tonga i wo Ise tonga Mumo yo mangu Ise tonga Mumo Ime taura iwo taura Ise Taura iwo taura Ise Ise taura Mumo yo mangu Ise taura Mumo Imi pinda iwo pinda iwo pinda Ise Imi pinda iwo Ise 
Oh, pindai, pindai, pindai mumoyo mangu. Pindai, pindai, pindai. Ime gara iwo, gara iwo, gara. Ime gara iwo. Ise, oh. O mumoyo mangu ise gara ai mumo imi famba iwo famba iwo famba imi famba iwo ise o ise fam famba o ise famba famba Imi rara mai wo rara mai wo rara mai Imi rara mai wo Ise wo ise rara mai rara mai Wo ise rara mai rara mai Imi parizai wo parizai wo parizai Imi parizai wo Ise, o ise, parizai, parizai, o ise, parizai, parizai. Imi farai, o farai, o farai, o imi farai, o ise, o ise, fam, farai. O ise farai farai imi rara mai wo ise o ise rara mai rara mai o ise rara mai rara mai imi pindai wo pindai wo pinda O imi pinda i
tashika kudenga ngati mbe rodor wa chesu tsitsi tsaki nenyasha aiwako netsimba zilo penya ano katira njimbo kana kana ta tosechuchira mo ngari chava zuare kufara wo apoto tona jesu tichai mane wo kana kana ta tasika kude ngari chava wo apoto Tona Jesu tichaye bane kupembera tichafamba murwendo Yesu ticha famba murwendo tino wirwa ne namo aiwa asikana ta zosika to Buru za mutoro kana kana ta tashika kule ngari chava zuare kufara o apoto tona Jesu tichai tive vanhu vakatendeka Yesu ti vevanu va katende kam nu musumira aiwa a poti cham zo muvona na moto se zapera kana kana ta shika kude. Ngari chava zuvare kufara o apoto tona Jesu ticha Gati ende kumubairo Yesu ngati yende kumubairo runa kurwa ke tuona Yesu te chapinda mu masuo nenzira zendarama kana kana ta ta shika kude Ngari chava zuare kufara wo apoto tona Jesu tichai ba o kana kana ta ta shika kude ngari chava zuare kufara O apoto tona Jesu tichai Tive vanhu vakatendeka Yesu ti vevanhu vakatendeka tivi mbeno kumushumira o apoti cha Zomuona na moto se tapera kana kana ta shika kude ngari chava zuare kufara o apoto tona Jesu tichai. O kana kana ta ta shika kudengari chava 
Zuare kufara o apoto tona Jesu titai Oh when we oh oh get to him then what a day of rejoicing that will be Oh, when we all, all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Wanga nwa rukufara. Tuda kusimga nito gazedu. Tuda kimba tichi gazera kuya kuishokura mwari. Tuda kuimba. Ishendi nzo eno kufara made kwa nano. Ye shendi zwe loku fara jen zwe ile tsitsitsenyu itsotsa muno tose tshutshira mako vanhu vo vosengadzi u itsongadzi u Gati u, gati u, ye kwandiri izo gati u, ye gati u, baba gati u, ye mere kaiku. Siaba baba kanandi mutati ili dileku ipapa mo pamoyo asiu next verse amahu ya ipano mupole. Sing and Next face. Oya imbe amu. kaiku. Dipura ilingandi wo Diri bo bo futa urai Aywa rudorwe Mariba baba ropara Se wangu aywa no kuwa Kumbwe ya kungave Po kwa ndiri Agora o grupo vai fazer a cena. Tá desocatando e mais tira a gente é meio que não não cá. Se não rombou que não não cá. Se não faro que está tirando. Chegou na imorimo a minha lá no lugar do mochete. Jimba kunashe, sema imbiro wa muru kushita Mwari, dae wawe nemi Shenga waru mbitwe We really didn't mean to be late But it just became something beyond our control Asi, asuangu zuiti kao kutisanga tisinga kwanise kuzuita we are happy for what is happening at the back there. 
and already I can say we are sorry that the builders they still have to continue as we are in service. Praise the Lord. Let's appreciate the Lord for that little progress. Praise the Lord. Happy that Brother Sabawath was with us. And I'm told he preached a wonderful masterpiece. Evangelistic as he is. Yeah, a bit of wire brushing as well. And adding a little bit of salt. It, it, it is good for us. Praise the Lord. How many love Brother Saba? He is our son. You know it. 100% bona fide son. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 In our wildest thinking, we never thought we'd have Brother Noah today. Praise the Lord. He comes to Arara on business. But he also takes the Lord's business. Praise the Lord. We last had meetings with him. I think in October or September when we were in the old place. So he comes while we are still making changes for ourselves. How many love Brother Noah? He is our son and in this year we are going to work with him closely he, he, he preached to us he was in Genesis that time uh, yeah he was in Genesis that time I think today is going to be in Exodus and when he comes he goes into Leviticus but how many think is a good preacher the Lord is just in us praise the Lord enjoy brother Noah tonight God uses him as you all know let us all pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, what an honor it is to come home. We may go everywhere, but home is best. Lord Jesus, we come to this height and work that is happening. We thank you for this time that you had ordained it for us to have it in this time. We thank you also for the church. We commit them into your hands now. And the preacher too, our brother Noah, you know how much we love him. Father God, we know you can use him for our benefit tonight. We pray against every hurdle that may stand in the way. May we have free course in our midst. We commit everything into your hands in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Enjoy the ministration of the word. May the Lord be with you tonight. Shalom. Rugari. I would like to greet you to this afternoon, this sorry, this evening in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, I certainly have very uh, deep respects for your pastor. And always the brotherly kindness that he always shows. May the good Lord Richie bless him and his ministry. And I know he really has a desire for this church. 
Amen. And I trust God to give him the desire of his heart. That's the promise that he has given us. And I want to greet my old friends. I mean that I have known from uh, quite old. Amen. And I also want to greet the new ones as well. That God gives. Uh, May the good Lord richly bless each and every one of you. May He give you focus this year. Amen. May you grant you grace. To climb one step up the ladder. Uh, that you may know Jesus in this program. Amen. That's what the prophet of God said. And we only echo what the prophet of God has said. John was told to prophesy again. In other words, you are saying the same things that had been said before. And he was told to prophesy again to all nations, tongues and, and, and people. And we know that John as a person never did that. But John as the bride is as, doing that. We realize our time is short. I mean, so we need to also to do a short work as well. So shall we stand to the honor of the reading of the word? And let's open our page, the pages of our Bibles. Uh, now, it's, it's so difficult for me, you know, to try and preach maybe what I want to preach because I've jumped to part two instead of going through to part one. Amen. So shall we open our Bible to the book of Psalms chapter 16 verse 11 verse 11 The Bible says, uh, Bible Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Shall we bow our heads for a while? Our gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you this evening, Lord. You've given us grace to be here. And Lord, we've gathered because of you. The promise is, Father, if we gather on account of your name, you will be there in our midst. Your word declares you here, Father. We've been told by your servant that we Whenever you come, you always leave a blessing behind. That's why we are here, Father. Not so much as to see each other. Because we can do this at our homes. But we are here to see Jesus. Father, to be refocused in our lives. That all the black jacks that cling upon us, Lord. Father, they may be taken away. The Bible tells us Lord that you washed us with the washing of the water by the way. Lord it is to wash away all spots and all wrinkles Lord. And this is done in your house as the word of God goes forth. Speak to your people Lord in their area of need. Dissolve all doubts answer all questions grant them grace Father God to be able to know, be known, to be able to know how to face life's challenges may you get glory for yourself Lord I pray that you forgive our sins Lord in our iniquities whatever would stand in the way of your word Lord and in the way of you reaching out to us Father we pray may the blood of Jesus Jesus. That wash is whiter than snow. Oh God, may it wash us, Lord. 
And Father, may you prepare our hearts for your word. I pray tonight that Lord you move upon your gift. For such a time like this you ordained it Lord. And I pray you move upon the hearts of the believers. Father, Father for we do know grace to perceive comes from you Lord. Grace to have our eyes open Father it comes from you Lord. Therefore tonight we stand in the shadows of thy mercy. Speak to us Father. We shall be careful to bring the glory and praise to thy holy name Lord. We thank you, we praise you, we honor you Lord. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We pray and all the saints shall say Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. God willing, I would like to preach to you uh, on Thou will show me the path of life. I, I, I've been studying the book of Psalms. And, and I've been studying the book of Psalms. And there's quite a lot that David says about life. And, and as you read it, you begin to find a, a depth that David had in understanding a relationship of man and God. And so you hear him here saying, Thou will show me the path of life. And then he also says, In thy presence is fullness of joy. Now there is something that David actually understood. Amen. Amen. He understood something about the presence of God. And he understood the fact that God would have to show him the path of life. You know, there are scriptures in the Bible that when you read, always, you know, you get puzzled. Because the Bible is quite an intricate book. It's not an earthly book. It's a heavenly book. You know, like if you read the Bible in the book, you know, of, of Timothy, Second Timothy, chapter one. chapter one. Amen. And you find very puzzling things that the Lord Jesus Christ would say. Now, if, if you really think deep as you read the Bible, you find that these things become very, very strange, but very remarkable. Paul says here in 2 Timothy chapter 1 Be not therefore uh, be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord Nor of me his prisoner but be thou partaker of the affliction of the gospel. According to the power of God. Amen. Now you see there is a... Uh, uh, semicolon there. Which actually means that uh, there is more coming. That uh, sentence is not complete. So when you read the next verse, you must start with God. Amen. Amen. That's how you know it will all blend in. So if you go to verse 9, you therefore have to say, God, who hath Saved us Uyo, akati ponesa. and called us with an holy calling. Akati dana, nekudana, Not utene, according to our works, edu, but according to his purpose asi, maringene donzo rake. and grace which was given us in Christ before the world began. So grace was already given before zaka the nyasha, world. Zaka piwa, nyika but then lepo. Paul qualifies this whole statement. Asi, Paul, anu, vanya, so in verse 10. He says, but now. Oh, I like 
But now, Asi, iko zino. whenever you see the use of the word but, Pauno, napano, shandis, kwa izguro, kuti, Asi, take cognizance of what has been spoken before. Chere cheza, zambuta uruko kumashure kwa Asi. It's almost like contrasting what is said before whenever the word but is used in the scripture. Nekuti, zuneta sekuti, ziriku, uh, nge ziriku pesana, zukana izguiri, risa tirashikari kuti Asi. The Bible says, you know, we were dead in sins and trespasses. Ala, Bible wrote it, angataka, fatiri muzivi, nekudarika kwedu. But God. Ah, see, Mwari. Oh, sorry. 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 Now, the Bible says, but God, rich in mercy. Now, you see, it's always contrasting what has been said before. So now, in verse 10, it says, but is now, it's talking about the grace. It's saying that it was given us in Christ before the world was. But now, it is manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ. So the coming of Christ becomes the greatest junction in human history. The coming of Christ did something. It made manifest the grace that God head in, 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 in That's why the Bible says out of his fullness we have received grace upon grace. Now, I want you to see what Christ did. He says, who hath abolished death and hath brought life and immortality to life. No, no, no. Uh, it's brought it to light through the gospel. Jiratidzwe. You know, when the Bible talks about bringing into light, it means, it means God made plain life and immortality. Through the gospel. So it means the gospel of Christ is supposed to show life and immortality. Now, here's the question when you read such a statement like this. The Bible says Christ brought life. What about the life that we now live? If he brought life, what about the life that we are to live? Now, that's the question that you ask yourself. Now, the Bible is saying here, he brought life. But if you get to people in the world, they'll tell you, I'm living the life. But Christ is saying, I've brought life. But you begin to wonder, what type of life is Christ bringing? That, that is so important that he must bring life when we think that we were actually having life here on this earth. That's where you come to David. He says, thy love kindness is better than life. No, he said, thy love kindness is better than life. Now, which life is he talking about? Because Christ is bringing life. Is the love kindness better than the life that God is bringing? No, say there are two different types of lives. There is a life that you are brought, that you are actually given through the birth that you actually your father and your mother gave. But you see, when Christ brings life, it actually tells you one thing. Let me explain this thing. You know, in the book of Hebrews, Paul begins to articulate the old covenant and the new covenant. Now, he says, he quotes a scripture in the Old Testament. The time will come when I will establish a new covenant with 
the house of Israel. Not, not like the old covenant. So now Paul then goes to explain this whole thing. He says, in fact, he said the new covenant. Now it means it's not like the old covenant. The first one has been made to old. It was not like the old covenant. It was not like the old covenant. But I want to tell you something, friends. A Christian is a person with a twofold being. He has got a new man. He's got an old man. But you see, if you don't have a new man, there can never be an old man. If you go to the Old Testament, you will never find one word which says Old Testament. There's not even one word which says this is an Old Testament. But how did it become old? Paul says the coming of the new made the first one old. So the coming of a new man in your heart is making the first man old. Now, if you understand that, then the coming of new life, it means the first life has been rejected. When Christ said you must be born again, it means he's rejected your first birth. This is why the Bible is saying Christ has brought life. This, one, this Bible is bringing a new type of life. That's why Paul could say to the Corinthians, Why do you walk as men? Were they not men? First Corinthians chapter three. Paul says, "Why do you walk as men?" And were the Corinthians not men? Now you see, when the new life comes in you, you don't live like the ordinary man. Do you understand that? You walk is complete different from the Ma ordinary man. Because your life is now under a new management. It's, under, it's being managed from above. That's why Paul could say it's no longer I that live in. But it's Christ who lives in me. But the question you ask Paul, you say, if you are not if you are not living, then who is the one that actually goes and eats breakfast? Is that Christ eating breakfast? Then he says, the life I live in the flesh it qualifies now. The life I live in the flesh I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Brother, sister, I'm telling you Christianity is not an ordinary life. It's a new life. If this gospel is preached and there's no new life actually to life, then it's not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why did Christ come from glory? To bring life. He says, I've come that they might have life. That they might have it more. That's why David said, Thou wilt show me the path of life. Oh, I hope you understand this. That's why David would say, Thou wilt show me the path of life. But sister, Christianity is not an ordinary life that ah, every other Christ Christ Dick and Harry lives. Now, the life that you are now supposed to live in the flesh under the faith of the Son of God. In other words, it's actually under direction of the super sense that God brings in your life. Now, when you are back to Genesis chapter 2, Genesis chapter 2, when Adam became a twofold being. In Genesis chapter 1, for worship, he made him a spirit being. Because if you want to contact God, you've got to come in the spirit. Is that scripture? Jesus Christ, the second Adam comes. And he says, the time is coming. And now he is. Two worshippers. Not prayer 
warriors but that worship us because As Adam was never made to pray. pray Adam was made to worship because worship is God directed but prayer is men directed men started praying after Genesis chapter 3 but before Genesis 3 men worshipped worship is adoration is praise now prayer is asking is begging now, that's why it's correct English to say I pray you my brother give me some water it's very correct but you can say I worship you my brother because worship only belongs to God but prayer is about asking about asking. now Adam did not need to ask for anything because all things were provided by God himself you understand friends then you are coming to Genesis chapter 2 where Adam became a twofold being because in Genesis chapter 1 he was a onefold being but when God put him in flesh Adam became a twofold being you see he had the life that you have here to contact this earth. Then in the spirit, he was able to contact God himself. You understand somebody say amen. So now you begin to see that when Adam was put in flesh, his life was not dominated by the five senses. It was dominated by a super sense. That's how Adam lived. He was directed. The life in the flesh was directed by a super sense. Brother, sister, this is where we are coming back to. We are coming back to the heart of worship. Amen. We are coming back to leadership by the Holy Ghost. That's why Paul says as many as are led by the Spirit of God they are the sons of God. Which means leadership by the Holy Ghost is qualification for sonship. Leadership by the Holy Ghost is the qualification for sonship. As many as are led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. That's why you see when you come to a son in this generation. Who was the first manifested son of God. That was, that was the prophet of God in the generation. He said a great of my life I live in a world where nobody knows nothing about now do you begin to see now what really God is bringing to us that you are living in your own world he says which nobody knows nothing about so much so that that even his natural life was under God direction wakes up in the morning you want to have your breakfast an unbeliever has breakfast a believer has breakfast but the difference is that life that you are now living is different from the other direction so Paul Abraham wakes up in the morning and he said we are going to have breakfast with my family like every other person would say I want to have breakfast but here is the difference that life is under direction even doing your natural things is under direction of the Holy Ghost so he says today we are going to eat not in the ordinary restaurant that we eat we are going to eat in another restaurant you see now, the Holy Ghost was directing I want you to see that your natural life can be so much under direction that that even even your natural you happenings you are actually believed by God himself God will show me the 
So he came out to this family just to go to a restaurant to eat. He he to a restaurant. A sister says, Praise the Lord. And one of them says, What is it, sister? He says, I was praying. I tried to get a prayer card. I couldn't get it in the meeting. And I knew that I had to go back home, but I had a need. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and says, At nine o'clock, my prophet is going to walk in into this restaurant. You go into that restaurant. It was just eating breakfast with a family. But that life was under the direction of the Holy Ghost. This is Christianity. And he says, What is it, sister? He said, In the name of Jesus Christ. You know, he prays for her and she gets healed. Then he says to his family, Oh, Mama, the Holy Ghost is still moving. He gets out of there. The Holy Spirit says, Walk. Just like any ordinary person will walk. But his natural life was under direction. He takes a corner. He stops at one place. Then another sister says, Praise the Lord. He says, What is it, sister? Jesus, I came from Canada. I was down to my last. I have a withered hand. I couldn't even get a prayer. And I was praying. And the Holy Ghost said, At 10 minutes past 9. Ah, <laughs> glory to God, God in the highest. At ten minutes past nine. Ten minutes past my nine. My prophet will be walking. Oh, brother, and sister, stretch up your hand in the ah, name of the Lord. Did you see the Holy Ghost is still moving? Oh, brother, the Holy Ghost is still moving. 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 We walk by faith. The substance of things hoped for. The evidence of what you eye cannot see. What you ear cannot hear. In other words, your life is dominated by a supernatural. Praise the Lord. Thou will show me the path of life. Amen. So there are two different types of lives. You see, it's the life that we are born. And there's the life that Jesus Christ brings. This is why Paul could say to the person, to the why do you walk as man? You are not just man. You are under direction. Even you you begin to find that whatever you are doing, God is actually busy directing you. What does the scripture say? The first steps of the righteous. They are all but of the Lord. Just like you are not just a man. You are under direction. 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 Now there is a time. Uh, where I was asked to go and preach in South Africa. So the brother there said, brother, we are holding a youth meeting. Now, the brother that we asked to come, he said he cannot come. Can you come and take our youth meeting? So I said, I will uh, pray about it and I will let you know. So, uh, the time was moving, time was moving. And then I said to my wife, I really don't know whether I should be going to South Africa. You know, to then I said, oh, it is the will of the Lord. I don't even want to travel by bus. And I want to fly there. And, and, and I don't want to get tired by the time I get there. So I told him, no, no, if, if God has to move things, this is how they have to move, but I don't have the money to buy the tickets. So I said, if he wants me to go there, then I, this will be actually a, 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 a thing that will show me the direction. And, and somehow God worked things that weekend. I was preaching the whole weekend. I preached, I think, uh, on Wednesday. I preached then on Friday at home. Uh, then uh, it was Friday, yes. Then on uh, Saturday I was preaching for the brothers in Canada. 
our preaching at 2 o'clock in the morning because of the time differences then I preached 2 o'clock in the morning then on Sunday I was in Esgodini preaching then at 4 o'clock I had to go back and preach again for the brothers in Canada but the whole week I was just preaching and friends God did just something money just coming from strange places Money just coming from strange places. More than what I needed. Actually, actually. And it, it just came right on time. So I said to my wife, I have to go there. So I went to South Africa. So we went to a very far place. I think it was, uh, uh, somewhere in Mpumalanga, in some very hot mountain. Then I have a son that works there in South Africa. So I've been conversing with him. Then all of a sudden he was not communicating. I spoke to my wife. I said, When last did you speak to him? Then I said, Wrong here. And I said something is wrong. So I phoned this pastor. And he said, Oh, well, I've been speaking to him. And I said, When last did you speak to him? I said, well, it was last Sunday. I said, can you try and contact him? And find out if he's okay. And he tried to call. He says, I can't get him. I said, brother, can you send somebody to his house? To his house. So he sent someone there and that brother, instead of going to church that day, he battled to get inside the flat. When they got there, my son was nearly dying inside there. He, he, you know, they immediately rushed him to hospital. And then the brother said, Brother, if you had not done what you did, you would have lost, have lost, have lost this kid. Then I realized why I had to go to South Africa. My son actually needed me. And to, but unbeknown to myself, God had already programmed the whole thing. But while I'm trying to do this, God is making sure that I will be there for my son. Brother, sister, I saw leadership. So I said, well, if this is God, then my son is going to be okay. And sure as anything, he kicked back. And he's okay now. No, I, I, I was so happy, brother, sister. And you see, your ordinary life God will begin just to move things can you imagine there was a brother who was supposed to preach but God made sure he's not going to preach then the brother approached me and I was so doubting but God provided the means but all this God was knowing that while you are going to preach your son is going to make it so now you, you begin to see that we have a life that we live that is under direction of the Holy God. To you it's ordinary. But you see you are under control. And this is how we should be living the Christian. Life. That's why David could say thou wilt show me the path of life. Now, you see, brother, sister, the whole thing about this world, you must understand there's something that is going on here. You see, eternity is like a circle. If I had a, a chalkboard, I would actually draw a circle for you. Brother Branham says, think of it. The world is turning in a cycle. Eternity, just eternity is like a perfect circle. It has no corners or no end. If I started with a perfect circle here, going around on this desk, it might cut through the desk. Through the floor, through the desk, billions of years, and billions years of time to come, it will still be going on a perfect circle. Endless. That's the way God was in eternity at the beginning. Now, this is in the message the law having a shadow. Now, you begin to see something here. That you see, God was like a, what? A 
Now, with a circle, if you start at one point, and you go and you go, you'll come back to the same point. Is that right? You'll come back to the same point that you started. Is, is that right? Now, you begin to see something. When God was creating, His creation became an expression. Of who God is. That's why you find God likens himself to a lion. He's expressing the characteristic of God. Is actually shown in a lion. That's why he calls himself an eagle. The eagle was expressing a characteristic that is in God. That's why he calls himself a dove. Because the dove was expressing an attitude that was in God. That's why he calls himself a lion. What am I saying? His creation is actually you are seeing the fingerprint of God in his own creation. Now you understand what I'm trying to say. So the things that we have here on the earth are also moving the same way to express God. Now Branham has got a good saying for it. He calls it the continuity of God. And he says now, if anything is presented to you outside of that continuity, it's not God who's speaking to you. So in other words, you must see the continuity of God. Now, that's why you find when he created the sun, the moon, the stars, they started to express that God. You have the earth going round, round the sun. Because you see, God, when he was seen by Ezekiel, he was a will within another will. God was moving, but he was moving in a circle. Now, so when he creates, the earth also moves in a circle. It starts on January 1. It goes right through, it comes back to where it started. That's what we are calling a new year. We have come back to where we started. Now, you understand what we are trying to say? That's why you are in a woman's life, she's got a cycle which actually goes on now. Every month it goes on every month. He's expressing all that. Now, that is why you find everything that was in the original is going back to its original. Anything that was original goes back to where it actually started. That is why redemption you can only be redeemed if you were there in the original. If you were not in the original, you are not in the original. Because only original things have a way of going back to where it started. This is what Solomon saw. The wisest man. And, 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 and that's why you find, first of all, the sun. You see, it's in the morning. And then it goes at midday. It goes in the evening. It goes in the evening. It goes in the evening. Then Solomon saw this Solomon as well. And he said the rivers they don't seem to end. They pour. Amen. Oh, praise, uh, praise the Lord. Oh, let, let, let me see if I can get you the scripture there. Uh, uh, it's actually in, uh, brother, if you can put there, um, Ecclesiastes chapter 1. Yeah, verse 4 to 7. Uh, verse 4 to 7. He says, Anoti. One generation passes. Another generation comes. But the earth abided forever. As so you find, you start with a father and a mother. Amen. Then time moves. They have children. That's the next generation. Then the first generation goes. And the next generation takes its place. They also become fathers and mothers. Then there comes another generation again. Now you see it's all moving in a circle. And then he says the, the sun arises. And walk down and hasten to the place where he arose. Then he says the wind goes towards the south. And then cut it down to the north. 
Ah, yo zoka kumsoro. It will it continually. Ah, yo enda ishenda zena lakwe. And return it again according to his secrets. Ino zoka zoka shekare maringe. And Jesus come say, he that is yes, born of God, God, God is like the wind. You don't know where he's, he's, he's coming from. Is that what you say? He says you don't know where he's coming from. Why you are coming from eternity? You drop into time. Then you will never came. Over what you did, you took it as a kind of work of the Lord. You took it as a kind of work of the Lord. You took it as a kind of work of the Lord. In verse 7 he says all the rivers They run into the sea Yet the sea is not full Unto the place from whence the rivers come Take her Then return again So the rivers are pouring into the ocean Then God sends his son And he picks those waters And he returns them from where they started And the whole cycle starts again Everything that is original this is why the new birth had to come to us Because the new birth takes you back to the beginning It takes you back to Genesis chapter 2 Praise the Lord to where you can be a son and a daughter of God. What you used to be. When, what? when you first. When God first saw you. Friends this is the story of redemption. Brother Branham calls it the cycles of life. That's why men like Job could notice it. That a tree shades off the leaves. And it seems that the life has disappeared. But with the scent of water, the leaves they come back to where they started. If you read these books, you will see a certain depth of understanding that these ancient people had. Now people do they don't stop. They don't stop to think about life. Because they think that if you have a cigarette on your side, you've got a hand on the car like that, and you've got a pint of beer, whoopee! I'm living the life. Our prayer is down with you. You see, brother, that's why we are here. That's why this gospel no, 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 is showing us a new life. It is the life that Adam lived in the garden of Eden in Genesis 1 and Genesis chapter 2. That's the civilization that Adam was actually created in. I challenge the young people. And I say to the young people, I said, consider this. When Adam was created, Adam he was all alone. We are not told how long he was alone. But Adam was alone. Adam did not have a TV to entertain. Adam did not have you know, the, the internet to entertain. Adam did not have a cell phone to entertain. Adam did not have a football match between the gorillas and the pansies. You know, he had no fear. God never thought about all those things. Now, my question was: Was Adam bored stiff? In the garden of Eden. Because today, if a person is not alone, you either go to the internet, Facebook, you know, TikTok, you know, you're entertaining yourself. This is the life that we have on this earth. But consider Adam. He did not have all those instruments. How did Adam live? David says in your presence David there is the fullness of joy. In your presence there is the fullness of joy. That's why Christ said my joy I give not as the world gives. Because you go to a football match you are even kicking the, the person right in front of you. Oh! But when you go home there is no sugar in, at home. As when you go home there is no sugar. You go home, they have closed, they have closed the water, there is no water there, your problems are there. That's why he says in Psalms 4 verse 7. Can you flight Psalms 4 verse 7? Thou hast put gladness in my heart. More than I think the time. That they are corn and wine increased. I love the way of God, praise the Lord. Thou hast put gladness Makaisa in my heart. More than at the time. Brother, sister, watch this. 
Thou has put gladness Makaisa mfaro unotutubatuba mkadime moyo wangu. The time that their corn and wine increase. Akudarika nguwa iya yekuti akorosiravo ne wine zvinowedzera. He is comparing something. Are zvaari kuenzanisa. He is saying people here in this world. Ari kuti vanhu panyika pano. Their gladness is time bad. Ah mfaro wao ga uri pachinguva. It is circumstantial. Ah unotouya nemwaka. When their corn and wine increases they are happy. Kana chibage chavo ne wine zvika because the industry at that time was agro based remember the story of the rich young ruler how he broke down the bands and then he increased his galleries and then he said my soul rest for so many years because he thought that is life and all things so you see the industry was agro based so at a time when they ripped a lot they became so joyful oh I've got so many sex I've got so many not to pay it's when you get your pay at the end of the month you are saying I've got some money but you soon find that it can't cater for everything your joy is gone because why it's circumstantial it's time bad when you go to the football match you are so happy you know as soon as you come from there you are going to meet real life problems your joy is gone but Paul but David says thou has put gladness in my heart no that the circumstantial one that people have in this world that will show me the path of life do you see what Christianity means David is saying you have put joy gladness in my heart no that one that wrote it that's why Jesus said my joy I give not as the world but everything in this world is just circumstantial amen you are happy that you passed at school but your parents tell you have no money for you to continue your joy is gone your joy is soon Tend to dancing as uh, at to money as you know but David says thou has tamer. tend my morning into dancing ah see david anoti makashandura kuchema kwangu kuti kugowa mufaro now be, do you begin to see what we are talking Munotanga about this is the other life ndo umwe upenyu that's the life that we should that's why david spoke about the joy ndo saka david akatarane zvemufaro some people have got enough religion to make them very miserable nekuti vamwe vanhu vane kuna mata kunokwanisa kungovata kuti vave vanhu vakaroboka joy in saving christ as mune mufaro mukuchimira it's a celestial joy that money cannot buy mufaro whatever thing in this world can never buy that the mari hapana chinhu panyika pano zvisaenza nizwa nemufaro uyo was kept by the presence and David said in the presence of God there is fullness of God do you know we were made to stay in God's presence the way God constructed us you cannot leave the Christ in the presence of God it's simple friends if you see a flower cannot save its purpose unless it is attached to its source unoziva garuva harikwanise kuti raita zvarakatari honziriite kana risina kubatana nechinori paupenyu is that right if you take it from its source the earth will dura ruva kubva muvhu wabata chinhu chakafa it will do all its tricks as long as it is in its source the water when you touch it asi ukatora hove ukaganda mumvura inotamba nekuti iri maya kaisirwa kuti itambe asi ukaibudi sai mumvura the source of man is god himself saka zvino ka uchino pa hupenyu kumunhu ndimwe ari pa uzima because when he was creating he broke a pattern nekuti iye ka pa munhu pa akasikwa akazodimbura no 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 when god was creating he broke a pattern that he established ah mwe ari pa vakasika vakadimbura hwaro vavanga vakatara when he wanted the grass you know the the, the, the the trees he addressed the earth ah pavaida let the earth bring forth aiwa nyika ngai when he wanted the creeping beast ah pavaida zvinokambaira he addressed the earth vakati nyika but when he wanted a man but pavaida moon he addressed himself which shows men never came from the earth he actually came from god 
So the source of men is actually God. You can only live attached to your source. That's the rule of life. That's why salvation is taking men back into the presence of God. What we need in the church is the presence of God. Praise the Lord. In Acts chapter 3, chapter 3, God spoke to uh, God spoke to Moses. And he said, You go and deliver the children of Israel. And he said, Who am I? Who am I that I should go? Now the question was who he was asking God, who, who am I to go there? How did God how did God answer him? Surely I'll be with you. That's how God answered him. He he said, Surely I'll be with you. Now it doesn't seem like an answer to a question. Eh? He's asking about who am I to go to Pharaoh? God says, Surely I'll be with you. And I know what God was telling him, it's not about yourself, it's about me. Blessed is not about us, it is about God. That's why in Exodus. I mean, Gen I mean, Exodus, brother. In Exodus 33, Exodus chapter 33 David, uh, 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 Moses comes back to Moses God. He says, when you first called me, you did not tell me who should go with me. But you said, you know me by name. Read your Bible. Now you read your Bible. Because I'm quoting the Bible. Now, and he says, if I found grace in thy sight, show me thy way that I may know you and consider these people this nation to be your people do you know how God answered him he said surely my presence will go with you and I will give you rest can you imagine how God is answering again surely my presence will go with you and I will give you rest do you begin to see what the presence of God means in you it means more than you can even think. Do you understand that? Now, if you read Psalms 44, you will actually find David, he understood these things very well. He begins to say, Lord, when you took the children of Israel and placed them in Egypt, in, 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 uh, in, in Canaan, it was not of their arm. No, their sword which drove the enemies out. But it was your strong hand. Now, brother, sister, let's look at this. Did those people not fight? Did they not fight? They were fight? But David is saying that he David not by their sword. Neither by their strong arm. But it was your sword in your arm. But brother, who was doing the fighting? Was it God or was it the children of Israel? Brother, don't think that it was a fight where they were just going to, you know, it was a fight where they got hurt in the process. When they were processing us. Then, God, then David says, it was you. Then he says, I don't put my trust in my bow. Neither did I put my trust in my sword. But what did Ahithophel say of that? Your father is a man of war for Israel. Don't play with David when you got your sword. He was a man of war. But David says, I have no trust in my bow. I have no trust in my sword. By my God, I have run through a troop. By my God, I have run through a troop. The presence of God in David's life is the one that made David succeed. Do you begin to see what you are saying? That's why he said the children of Israel, when you go into the land of Canaan and build goodly houses and your silver and your gold multiply and your sheep and your goats multiply when you have ten and artful be careful do not say by my strength and by my power I have gotten all of this 
He says, it is me that gave you. That you begin to see your natural life is under leadership. That's why you can say, by my God, I'm able to prevail. By my God, promotion that comes from the east, not the west, that comes from God. By my God, you see, everything in your life is by my God. Thou will show me the path of life. Now, you see, Brother Branham says here, he says, the, the cycle of time swings back ever so often. History repeats itself. And scripture repeats itself. Down through the age. Any scholar knows that that's ever studied it from a spiritual standpoint. To watch how scripture will repeat itself and run in cycles. It certainly that, that is in the message of Dr. Moses. But in this message, uh, I'm not going to read all of it. Uh, the future home. He says here, notice the eighth day Jesus raised for our justification. The eternal king with eternal kingdom to be baptized to this eternal life. Not seven days. It had nothing to do with in the end of the days. It's speaking of another Coming. Of the and notice so he speaks here about the holy convocation he says on the eighth day rather the eighth day on the eighth day was seven sabbath later Exactly after his resurrection, so it will be seven times that again brings it right back again to the first day of the week. He says you have seven days, but when you hit the seven, you are coming back to the first day. Because eternity is a second. But why are we speaking about this? Why are we speaking about this? And I, 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 I have to. Uh, 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 he says in a paragraph 235 see, 8 cannot be counted with the week it cannot be counted 8 days in a week you can't do it see, because there's only 7 days in a week count it any way you want it Sunday is the first day of the week see you count 7 then you go back in and start over again you, you see what you are saying? And we have lived through all these tights in here. But when you hit the eight, you go into it. Now, Brother Branham says, in, in, in law having a shadow, you love, you love, you love what to be the undefiled. As you know, uh, but Satan perfects that love. I see Satan, you know, to something of the world. He perfected it so then when he, perf uh, he perfected good to Satan, and taken angels with him. Now listen, listen to this. A little block fell out of this perfect cycle of it. Hey, you see that? Oh, I love this. He says, and dropped down to a place called time. It came right in there, goes around and goes right over here. Time, eternity exists right on down through time. So now, we now we got to circle there was a break in that circle. That break is where you are the Kakati. Now, you know, it's where you are the Kakati. Now, you know, it's where you are the Kakati. Now, you know, it's where you are the Kakati. Now, you know, it's where you are the Kakati. Now, you know, it's where you are the Kakati. Now, you know, it's where you are the Kakati. Now, you know, it's where you are the Kakati. Now, you know, it's where you are the Kakati. Now, you know, it's where you are the Kakati. Now, you know, it's where you are the Kakati. Now, you know, it's where you are the Kakati. Now, you know, it's where you are the Kakati. Now, you know, it's where you are the Kakati. No, no I, I, I wanted to show you. Now, this great chain of perfection was broken by time space. Time came because of sin. Let's talk about 
draw a perfect a, a, a perfect a, a picture a picture of time let's see a perfect circle for every and then all of one sin drops in put a little my wife calls it a little hitching or a little drop in the chain that drop is called a little hitching it's a hitching of time praise the lord are we saying strange things he says so it comes down now to eternity continues ah, but it's not in perfect condition ah, he is a little kept down here breaks over this way goes out this way God had to do that because certain cost it and it dropped down to a little space of time so the crying and perfection ah, and, and for the purging of the lost but God by sovereign grace might say in this little hiki or death back into the perfect circle then she rolls on just the same now time is this little loop it loops down Jesus was from eternity to eternity. He stepped into times. And was not flesh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see what's beginning to happen. What was there originally begins to search its way. Back to where it was. You can see why we talk about it. A title deed that searches its way back to its origin. He said he stepped into time space. Then he stepped into time here in order to sanctify or put a streak of blood all across this place to redeem it to connect it back to God again for you that's why you need to be the blood to be the blood it was connecting us back. Hallelujah. Zaidi zvela la zvekare kumashure. Now do you see why Papa Bram says the blood is like coral a, a bleach. Munona here chipai pano zina mabana. Papa Bram says baraka fana. He says it's like a bleach. Ano taka fana le bleach drops on the cheek and don't let it go. Apa pashibiswa ino jina yose back to where it came from. Yose era jira baraka ri. You see a jirai. Come and what it was. Rache na se zvanga riri baraka zvonwa. Bleach of the Anything that was original. Sheep in a sheep is just saying as a bama. We find this way back to. She no one and see that. You know she's sorry like we say na na kuenda. That's why the devil could not put his hands on that title deed. Those are the Satan and Anakwa Zawisa Maoko Agaka Sheep and Eglis. Time to move on. And handed over to his children. Ne kuti. When the bama 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 and where do you see the book now? You book you see in, in, in Revelation chapter 5. You see the hands of the original. All the land is mine. Remember Leviticus 20, 25, 20. The land belongs to me. So the devil could not take over this land. He has no title deed. Ah, because the deed is with what? It is with original owner. And you see that deed was not for the original owner. It was for sons and daughters. So you find a courtroom situation in Revelation chapter 5. There is the judge holding the title. 
elders where are the elders and then the voice cries out who is worthy to take the book what does the bible say no man no man it did not say no angel. It did not say no angel. It said no man. It the book was connected to men. It was connected to Amen. That's why the lamb came and took the book. You know what the 24 elders did? They sat down and they sang a new song. Where is the lamb? something to do with the earth. Because when he's taken the elder say we will reign on the earth. As kings and priests. What did the lamb do when he took the book? Did he give it to angels? The process no challenge. Who did he redeem it for? He says it was to Adam's fallen race. So the mighty angel comes down to hand it back to where it was before. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. So where is the book now? Saga buku diri kupi. John eat the book. John is ka buku. Where is the book now? Saga buku diri kupi. It's back. Rajoka to the sons and daughters of God. Wanakuma na lewa na skana bamgari. Amen. Amen. The deed that came. Zero ka mfumo kuna kaya kauya. You see, friends. Muno na shamarzangu. One thing I began to. Uh, Brother Pranam actually says here and now I've written out on the envelope here what I call the seven compound names of Jehovah in other words it was what Jehovah is made up in this seven redemptive name of his now God his attitude towards the people from Eden back to Eden is wrapped up in the seven redemptive names. From Eden. Back to Eden. 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 This is why, as I was studying, the, you know, I began to realize something. That Christianity has got pillars. That is ah, resting. It has pillars that is resting. On. It rests on resurrection. It rests on reconciliation. It rests on restoration. It rests on redemption. This is the story. Reconciliation is bringing back things to its former state. Restoration is bringing back what was there originally. Redemption is bringing back what was there Resurrection is bringing back what a blessing! The same thing. You see this, all these things. They're speaking of one thing. Everything is going back to the original. But you see, I found out also something. How could God do this bypassing the law? We know he can never change his mind about his way. The justice of God is not going to be changed. The justice of God is not going to be changed. The justice of God is not going to be changed. The justice of God is not going to be changed. The justice of God is not going to be changed. The justice of God is not going to be changed. The justice of God is not going to be changed. The justice of God is not going to be changed. The justice of God is not going to be changed. The justice of God is not going to be changed. The justice of God is not going to be changed. The justice of God is not going to be changed. That's where the blood came. Do you begin to see the story of the blood? That's where the blood comes. Because the blood, it is Christ taking the judgment judgments of God upon him. Do you begin to see? So the judgments fell on Jesus Christ. What the justice of God demanded, it was met in Jesus Christ. That's why Brother Branham says, God cannot judge us again at the white throne judgment because we were judged in Jesus Christ. I found the blood is the foundation. It's the foundation. 
While the pillars, but there's a foundation. They have to foundation. It has to rest on the weight of atonement. Do you begin to it has to rest on the weight of atonement. That's why we see, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. That's why in the Old Testament, if you were to go to the holiest of holies, you could not go there. You had to pass through the course of the congregation. But when you received in the course of the congregation, the first thing that you would meet is the old altar of e, sacrifice. E, and now all the other things in the Bible were of gold, were of gold. The, uh, the altar of incense is pure gold. As the altar, the altar yeah, 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 of sacrifice as altar, was made so. of bronze. What did bronze mean? Did bronze mean? Did bronze mean? Did Sin had to be judged first before you could go, go into the kare, presence of God. You had to pass through the judgment before you could be reunited. Do you begin to see? That's why Christ said you can never go to the Father except you have to pass through Jesus Christ to the Father. There is no other way. You begin to see what we are saying. Oh, everything is going back. That's why this message is taking us back to what our fathers were. What our fathers had, this message is taking us back. Because everything Time fails us, friends. I have to stop here. You know, shall we stand? I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. Oh, I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the Oh, since I know it was the blood for me. This is why the concept of fatherhood you know what the word father really means? If you check your dictionaries, it means an originator. That's what the word father means, an originator. Our God originated everything. Then he put a law. Every seed must bear after its own kind. Now, those were original seeds. But the devil had the knowledge of life. One thing God never gave the devil is the ability to create. Do you know what that means? Satan is not an originator. Because if you create, you are an originator. But the devil was denied the right to be an originator. He has to go to what God is actually doing. Yet God said, that's how he approached our man. Yeah, to start with what God said. The story of you know the good uh, men who planted in his field. Uh, who yeah. came afterwards? It was, it was the bad men in the soul. Did he have his own field? He had to come to the field of the owner because he had no field of his own. Now the devil perverts. Now whatever is perverted is not original. It has no ability of coming back to the origin. This is why when you have a mule, it cannot reproduce itself again. It has no ability to bring back another generation. Because it is not original. That's why if your Christianity is based on a book, on a, a name on a book, or shaking the hand of a person, you will never be able to bring back to the son and the son. Because that's a perfected thing and anything perfected will never come back to the son. Because that's a perfected thing and anything perfected will never come back to the son. There's no redemption for anything perfected. Because it is 
You love the Lord Jesus. I hand you over to your pastor. God bless you, saints. Praise the Lord. I don't know why we brought him on a Tuesday. We should have brought him on a Friday and we go into the weekend just feasting. But would you say you have enjoyed tonight? Praise the Lord. Spiritual food in juices. And this is how good the message can be. Uh, it can talk of a hickey. Where you fell in. But it takes the blood to complete that circle again. Praise the Lord. Do you see our language in the message? We talk of a hickey. Uh, the broken cycle. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. We really desire to go back to that man of Genesis. One, whereby we become perfect again. Everything is provided and supplied to us. We don't have to be begging. But because we are in that man of Genesis 2, we, we depend. On begging now. Because we are fallen from something. But we want to thank God for his pillars. Praise the Lord. As he was preaching, something came to my mind. Angelic beings associate together. He says, Oh, I hope you get that. that, that just drop right, right down free. He says, Look, if you've got the Holy Spirit in you, then you are a candidate of association. With the unseen world and the supernatural. Praise the Lord. Are we together? No wonder people can't believe in those things. They have never come in contact. They got nothing in here to believe. Which means they were not made in the original. What, what a blessed message, brother Noah. Let's appreciate our brother. Praise the Lord. Amen. We want to close our eyes. You want to say, God, continue to unveil yourself to me. Continue to open this plan. Continue to make me realize that I Came back, I came from you and I must go back to you. May the blood close the hickey that is on the cycle. Praise the Lord. Gracious Heavenly Father. We can definitely say you have spoken to our hearts. Thank you for showing us the path of life. It's the not the natural life that we always live in. I thank you for giving us the right kind of entertainment. It's, it's not, not again these natural things that we see. But there is a 
secluded life that you have provided as, for us. Pane umo upenyuwa katsa uka wa makati pa Isusu. When we are mahauri. in the Lord Jesus Christ. Kanatiri munaishe Jesu Christo. Father. Baba. We want to be there. Tuna kutitinge tiri ipo. We desire like David to always be there. Tino shui rasa David kutitigare tiri ipo. Father God. We feel there is a deep that is in us. That we came from there. And you were telling us anything that was in the original has redemption in it. We see that process in our lives. You taking us back to those parts again. Taking us back to that old man again. Dear Lord Jesus. May you undertake for us. Help us, Father God. Let our eyes be open. Wash them with high self. Like what you did tonight. In the preaching of the word. We felt our names were being called out. We felt our identification with you was being clarified even the more. May you undertake for us, my master. Now we have to be going back home. But let not the birds of the air come and As take away this good Makondo, stuff Edengangasa, that Chitora has been Zatachi. planted in us. But dear Lord Jesus, continue to water it and nourish it by the watering of your word until we come to that perfect image. Thank you for our brother Noah here. Thank you for giving him a program. Just like what you did in South Africa, the sun was in danger and you had to provide a program. Here also you provided a work program so that also we can be beneficiaries of this arrangement. May you undertake for us, oh my master. We love you so much. And when you talk about us, we feel so much elated. And we love you so much. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you, saints. It's evening time. We just end, have to end our meeting here. Praise the Lord. The Lord willing, we have to meet again on Friday. Praise the Lord. Thank you all for coming early. I really hope to be early on Friday. Remember, we have Brother Zilundu coming. So, it's another feasting again from the Lord's table. 2024 is beginning big. Praise the Lord. Amen. We, we, we have quite a lot of program in the year. I wish to merit all and maybe give it to you. But we want to enjoy each and every benefit of those programs. Praise the Lord. We're going to be having meetings around Easter. And I was thinking Brother Noah would be one of the preachers together with the other preacher. But we don't know what the Lord has in store for us. Praise the Lord. Do you appreciate your brother next to you, your sister? Tell them God bless you. Something has been described in me that is making a bell inside of me really ring hard. Praise the Lord. I appreciate the trustees, the I efforts know, that they are uh, doing and you supporting them with your money. They don't have to be describing anything. It's all in your eyes. Yes, but if we still feel maybe want to support that work, uh, yeah, uh, give them money. Because now they finished the other order that they had there. They have to come here a little bit again. If we support them, then on Friday they will be here.
Praise the Lord. Living to work on the pulpit now. Because there are certain designs that we want for the pulpit up here. Praise the Lord. So if you just give them a thousand dollars, they can buy us the, the, the cement bags that they need and we can move with the work quite a lot. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's appreciate these trustees together with the teams who are working. Yes. So, leaving them 200, leaving them 300, can just make them buy the next 25 bags. Yeah. Yes. And they can do again the same uh, achievement. Thank you very much. I can see also they are trying to uh, uh, at least uh, work on the ladies toilet sister sister sorry very we, we, we are very sorry we have kept you using a dirty toilet but uh, we, we want to turn to around, around things by sorry. the grace of God so let's, let's do it together together God bless you, saints. Until we meet again on Friday, may the Lord be with you. Shalom. And I appreciate you so much. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for the many things that the Lord is doing for this church. Uh, we can't thank him enough. May the Lord be with you. Brother Noah, when you go, Greet your family. The churches you preach to in Blawayo. Please let's make an arrangement for you to come back. Early. Praise the Lord. May God bless you. Until we meet. Shalom. I came from God and I go back to God. It's Jesus who knew me before the world was ever met. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You saved my life from death. I came from God. And I go back to God. It's Jesus who knew me before the world was ever met. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You saved my life from death. This is the reason that I sing it. I rejoice. And I'm happy, as happy as can be. Oh, hallelujah, you fill my life with joy. Before there was an atom on this earth, before the stars and sun were made on high, oh, hallelujah, you wrote me in your book. This is the reason that I sing in thy rejoice. And I'm happy, as happy as can be. Oh, hallelujah, you fill my life with joy. Before there was a sun in earth. Before the stars and sun were made on high, oh hallelujah, you wrote me in your book. I'm saved by his claim, and I know that my works, it's Jesus, who knew me before the world was ever meant. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You saved me by your grace. He guides me all the time, and I cannot be deceived. 
He wrote my name in his book before the world was ever made. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He loved me, this I know. This is the reason that I sing and I rejoice. And I'm happy, as happy as can be. Oh, hallelujah. You filled my life with joy. Before there was an atom on this earth. Before the suns and sun were made on high. Oh, hallelujah. You wrote me in your book. This is the reason that I sing and I rejoice. And I'm happy, as happy as can be. Oh, hallelujah. You fill my life with joy. Before there was an atom on this earth. Before the stars and sun were made on high. Oh, hallelujah. You wrote me in your book.